Good tonight here, and today we're doing a special review on a long-awaited belt that I've been wanting to test out. It is the Ronin Task Force in County Brown, naturally. So, this is an interesting belt because it's got all the pointy, stabby Velcro on the inside of the belt, and it comes with a very, very soft belt. Now, the soft belt has no buckle or anything, it's literally just a flap. You piece that together. Put that through your belt loops and bam, there you go. Which is surprising because I think this is an absolutely brilliant idea. It's super comfy, and there's no buckle in the way, and everything's just held together by Velcro. Honestly, I want to swap out all my normal belts with this. It is semi-rigid, which I can do more or less without for the uh, everyday attire wear, but for this, it's it's comfy. It does the job really well. It's got the little tab here so you can find access to where it's looped together. So, Nido Burrito. As for the actual belt itself, you've got the, um, the rope task force comes with the nice little cobra buckle here. It's got a little bit of wobble to it. I'm sure that's normal. You got your D-ring holder here so you connect your uh, lanyards and stuff. And then you've got this double set of like really thin molly. So as you can see, you can't really weave stuff through the center and back because it's a massive pain. You can do it with some things if it's using uh, the softer molly mounts, but if you're coming down to malice clips and stuff, you're generally just going to slot them right through like you're a really lazy guy who doesn't really know how molly works. However, if you try to do it the proper way, you're gonna have problems. So, just trust me, this is the better way to do it. I can assure you of that. What are you saying? It is gonna move a little bit, but these are Craddock's pouches, I'm not too worried. So, you've got many rows of this. This is a small, and mind you, I wear medium practically everything, but when it comes to belts, I just got that very, very slim, sexy waist, so it can't be helped. So, you got your dulcet molly. So here, you can run this any way you really want to. My preferred method is going to be with the mouse. It's just going to be carrying two pistol mags, rifle mag, a very minimal, tiny dump pouch that's folded up nicely and out of the way. We've got our burrito eye pack here. Why do I have gloves on here? I'm sure there was a reason for it. It's not. It's fine. We've got our gloves on there. Next to the eye pack for no reason in particular. I guess I just didn't want to put them through the... Uh, Molly, so I might as well just put it through there. It's fine. And we've got a Safari Land mid length holster on here. So, there is room to add more stuff. I did have the, um, oh, whatchamacallit, the other dump pouch on here, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the MDOM dump pouch, but it was massive and it took up a lot of weight, uh, space and it pushed our eye pack all the way into the, uh, grip of the pistol. So, how does this all work? What makes this better than the other, um, battle belts and pistol belts and all that other good stuff out there. Well, obviously there's the quick attachment option. So, if I'm riding in my car, doing nothing in particular, and I want all my stuff out of the way so I'm nice and comfy, I don't have to wear a belt or anything. When I get to the actual place, I'm going to be doing things like a shooting range or whatever, that's very easy to get out of the car and be like, hey, here's my belt. Pop that boy open real quick. And... Did I get fat? Guys, I might have got a little fat. That's a... Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm too lazy to adjust the buckle, so... Yeah, so you load up everything in there real quick. I gotta go running, apparently. I've been busy with college work. It sucks. Don't do it, kids. So I'll make a few little adjustments there. Slide that over there. And bam, we're in business. So... I need to move this a bit to the side, but it's already on there, so... Got our battle belt on there, as you can see, it sits nice on that velcro and stuff, and why this matters, noble viewer, is because normally you'd go to crouch down or anything crazy. So, when I was wearing my HSGI Slim Grip, fantastic belt, however, even with the padding and stuff, because of the thick belt and stuff, when I'd squat down here, yeah, the belt would ride up onto my lower back, and when it's on the lower back, it's running up into the bottom of the plate carrier. Huge issue, so now I'm squatting down, Slavic style, it's comfy down here, you know. Stand back up, bam! Belt has not moved. Velcro holds everything in place. Huge benefit. So, with that in mind, I'll take a little plate carrier here, our Cry SPC for structural because it's got these fancy supports here. Jam those in there real quick. Watcha! 
And that one's gonna go there, that one's gonna go there. Ooh, we got our comfy setup, and we have plenty of clearance between our belt and all of our stuff, so gonna just load this up real quick. One mag in there. There are a few of those in there. Now the belt is pretty rigid, so we're all suited up. So we're good. We're comfy as you can see. The Velcro is also going to help hold all the uh, stuff together on the belt. So if we do our little twisty, we do our sexy dance here, all that weight is secured. The belt has very minimal movement. And we're not carrying a ton of weight. Mind you, again, we do just have the IFAC and a few mags and the handgun. I did end up taking the, uh, I used to have the strap on there because I was super high speed and cool and stuff, but honestly, the less stuff you have on your thighs, the better. Even though, having it nice and high on a mid ride, perfectly fine, no big issue, I have access to my pockets again. Well, I need to shift this a bit to the left. I put it on too far to the right, as you can see. I'm not properly aligned here. It's awkward, but it works. Can I fix that? Let me try to fix that. We have the belt on already. You gotta push those together, pull those apart. Obey me! There we go. I mean, you think we can think we can to fix it. You it right the first time. It's going to take a bit more practice, but... Eh! How's that? That's a bit better. So if access to everything, we get our pistol, you go pop, 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 pop! We can drop that mag over there. I'm dropping it on my chair because I care. If they were real mags, one carries much, but this stuff's expensive, so we go pop, pop, pop. And we're Gucci. Easy draw. Easy draw. Nothing in the way. And yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff going on, so there's very little to stop us. Now I don't have my placard on right now, it's in the closet, I forgot to pull it out, I'm too lazy, so. You see, we got a very cool, unique setup, we're going to T-pose here for a second, flex on the poor people. Actually, that's going to be the, that's going to be the picture right there, there's our T-pose. Yep, there's our image, right there, with the uh, thing. So you got everything nice, comfy, and it's out of the way, the plate here, no, the... Cry SPC does fit higher than most play carriers, which helps, because like I mentioned, this would come up to here, and even with this high rise, I'm going to have uh, IFAC all up in my business. I don't want it, so. IFAC's nice and comfy here. If anything goes wrong, I have access to my tourniquet. I can pop open the IFAC real quick here, get, pull out my supplies. And what's nice with the burrito, even with all this Velcro going on, I can still slide and force it over to the side so I can get better access to it. Or... If things are particularly bad, if, let's just say, hypothetically, this whole arm's gone, and I'm like, oh, I'm in trouble, I can't get easy access to my IFAC, I can still yeet the belt, not effectively, but one-handed can you yeet the belt? It's a pain, because you got to push it together when you're pulling. All right, never mind, I bled out to death. Too late. We'll just get the tourniquet going. But you can get access to it, to a degree. Let me see. You're not going to have a whole lot of finite movement, assuming you're missing an arm and bad things are happening, but... You get the belt off, and boom, you've got full access to your IFAC up on front, so. Options, kids. Options. But the Velcro's neat. You wouldn't expect this much out of Velcro back in the early days, but here we are, almost 2020, and uh, we've moved on. If you were wondering, the whole reason I got LASIK in 2019 was because in 2020, I could say I have 2020 vision. Yup. Some memes are expensive. But yeah, comfy belt. You can grip it here. You can look like a badass. You can be angry at people. You can go, ugh. <laughs> it's, it's a fun belt. I like it. So, mind you, it's not a cheap belt, but for what it does and the fact that it keeps everything together, I'd be co perfectly confident crawling through the beach, running up the hills, going through the mountains, doing all that crazy stuff, and having all my stuff nice and comfy supplied here. And, you know, you could probably still... Actually, you can still run my bag here. Most bags I have are generally going to run a bit below the plate carry. The bag might rub against the IFAC a wee bit, but it's not going to be a huge issue. We've got immediate access to everything. And what interesting thing with the extra stiffness and stability in this pistol belt compared to others, there's very little rise on the pistol. Well, other times you, pull the, you try to pull the pistol and the whole thing would come up sideways. This one doesn't have a whole lot of that. As long as you're pressing the button, it comes right out. So, that's why I removed the leg strap. That's the entire reason, so... We got two free legs, and we're comfy, and I, the, I keep moving with the play carrier. The play carrier gets higher and higher, but there we go. It's protecting all the important stuff. There's the sternum, or yeah, the sternum and everything. So yeah, everything nice, neat, protected. We're ready to go. So 
With that in mind, we'll pelvic thrust our way into the future and have a good time. That was a weak pelvic thrust. Oh, there you go. That's what we needed. So, we're ready, we're comfy, we got our fancy belt, and we're ready to go do things. So, uh, yeah, gnarly. You guys can click away now. It's okay. Um, you don't need to stay here. Like, uh, yeah, so. Bye.